and suddenly this happened. Hi, my name is Stratos and in today's video I would like to talk about my thoughts about the breakdance builder and the future of the oxygen builder. I would like to start by pointing out that I'm not a member of SoFly company. I don't have any connection with those, I'm not going to defend them, I'm not going to go against them. I just sharing my thoughts. So first of all, keep it calm. We don't know the future, we don't know anything and we're waiting for more things to hear from uh, Luis and we're waiting to see the future of Oxygen and if it's going to keep updating. The story begins with an email that I got, of course, uh, most of users that have Oxygen LTD got that email into my uh, mobile and I saw the title that says New Builder and the first thought, of course, before reading the email was that they are closing Oxygen and we have to go into the new builder that we have of course the speed that we always wanted, maybe Vue.js and everything is going to be okay from now on. Then I opened the email, read it and then I was confused. What's going to happen? Are they going to close the oxygen? Are they going to ditch it and we're going to lose all the hard work that we have done and the clients that have the oxygen websites are not going to get any other updates or anything else. And of course this reaction is logical, the first thing that humans do when something is going to change is panic and think that the worst is coming. Uh, I remember when the 4.9 WordPress was the version that we had and then the 5.0 that has Gutenberg integrated and we had to go with Gutenberg and there was a panic everywhere and they said no we don't want anything to change, keep WordPress as it is, don't break Gutenberg. Then they brought the Gutenberg version and the plugin that was named classical editor i think was the plugin that go crazy and had from zero installations into one million in i don't know one month or something everyone was installing that plugin like gutenberg was a disease and even though they still using elementor or any other builder that they had to create the the website they still kept uh, disabling the gutenberg like it was a disease or something and we are now uh, I think two or three years later, Gutenberg is still in our lives. If you don't want to use Gutenberg, do not use Gutenberg. It's not something that it's mandatory. You have it, but you can go with your favorite builder and create the website with what tools you need. So the first reaction when we hear something is changing and we panic, it's not the best thing to do. So keep it calm. Of course, I don't know what's going to happen. Maybe in a year we're going to lose oxygen. I don't know what's going to happen. But of course, I'm not saying that Oxygen or SoFly did that on purpose and did something new in order to have us to migrate to a new builder. Breakdance is not something that is going to work for most users that are using Oxygen. And after the panic, of course, I went into the Permaslack YouTube channel because I know that Jonathan is going to upload, is going to go live because we have something new from Oxygen or from SoFly team, not Oxygen. And of course, we have this video. I'm going to put the link for this video in the description below. Any user of Oxygen should go and watch it. I know it's long, but you can go fast forward and start watching from the point that Luis uh, came into the video. So uh, he asked if he can join into the video, of course Jonathan uh, let him in and then we had like an interview and he answered a lot of questions. Now of course as I've said I don't know, I don't know what's going to happen but I like that Luis did that and he went and he, he said uh, hit me with your difficult questions. I want to answer everything that you got, not say it's going to support this or when it's going to uh, release the official version. I want the difficult question and it was nice to see that he's going to do that. So after seeing that interview I understand why they built the breakdance builder. It's not something that I'm going to use in order to create websites for my clients because I already use Oxygen and this is my preferred tool. I'm not going to use breakdance uh, to replace Oxygen. I don't understand why people keep saying I want a lifetime deal because I bought Oxygen and we need to give, to give us a lifetime deal for free in order to use breakdance. No, you don't need to use breakdance if you are already using Oxygen. If Oxygen is something that you can work with, it's a far better tool because you can create simply everything that you can imagine. Of course, Oxygen is not the best tool to create WooCommerce website. In fact, personally, I don't use it to create any 
WooCommerce website. I try to avoid it as much as I can. I prefer to use Bloxy and Cadence uh, Blocks Pro in order to have better results in uh, WooCommerce. I don't know why Oxygen sucks so much in uh, WooCommerce. Maybe it's because they disable the theme and they need the theme in order to do some things. Uh, I don't know why. You can create, of course, a WooCommerce website with, with Oxygen, but I don't think that the effort is something that is going to uh, repay you uh, sorry for the word, not, not repay you. I don't think that the effort that you are going to put in order to create the website uh, is going to pay off with the money that you're going to request for your client. Go with the, another solution for me. And of course, we're talking why Oxygen is not going good according to Louis. According to Louis, Oxygen is not bringing enough money as it should because it's a niche uh, product. It's something that it's more advanced and users that like coding or are used to code, no HTML, no CSS, they are better in Oxygen than uh, other builders. And other users that are starting to work with WordPress uh, find Oxygen difficult. I understand all of that, of course. But if you think that something wrong with your prices and with the lifetime deal because you sell a product and you offer support and updates, you don't sell just a product and you say good luck, you offer support and updates and new features. So you have a problem with lifetime deals, of course, because lifetime deal is not a healthy business model for any company. Uh, all the companies need revenue and need to get money. So do something with that. Uh, this is, I think, Oxygen uh, is something that is, should change. You need to change those. You need to, of course, respect the LTD, the lifetime deals that you have, but change the price model today. Go to your prices and see what you're, what they are wrong. Uh, make bigger prices and make also an annual plan. And I think that many users, uh, me also, me included, would like to pay something like an annual fee, even if I have an LTD, in order to support Oxygen to get better. Oxygen is a tool that I'm using in order to create websites for clients. It's a tool that brings me money, so I'm willing to pay an annual fee in order to support uh, that I I was willing to pay I don't know maybe five percent for every website that I created and go to Oxygen and pay that that money so an annual plan will be perfect for that so if you want keep the LTDs keep the LTDs for the new users if you want keep the LTDs of course for the old users but create something more create an annual plan and make money from that so that was the first thing that I would like to say that Oxygen I think is something that needs to improve. Now, many people in the comments said that you uh, take some builders from Oxygen and you create another team, spend three years and those uh, money that you spent and that effort should go into Oxygen. No, this is a different tool. It's for different audience. It's a builder, yes, but it's a different tool and for different people. So it's a good thing that they did that, even though they uh, brought some people from Oxygen and Oxygen team was with two I think technicians to programmers and the breakdowns was with five, but it's a different product that will give them annual uh, revenue. If it's going to help uh, SoFly to become a healthy company, yes, it's a good thing to do that. Now, another thing that I would like to change in Oxygen is to create something different written in Vue.js, of course, and that will break backwards compatibility. So guess what? I want to break backwards compatibility. I know that Louis said that they don't want to do that. They did that in the version 2 and they had agri users and they had too much uh, comments about why they did that. But we already know as programmers and as users that this tool is written in something that it's old. Even Louis came and he said that they choose Angular back in 2015, I think. And, of course, in this point, it seems like a bad decision. They didn't knew at that time and they used that. But we know now that uh, even though they are going to break backwards compatibility, it's something that we need to do. Of course, we're not going to update uh, the websites that already have version 4. Guess what? We don't need any new features in those websites that we have already created. Create a better tool. Create something, even though we don't have backwards compatibility, but something that was going to last for the future.
Now, of course, I don't own a product and all the things that I said are from what I'm guessing. I don't have any experience in selling or a product and maintaining that product. Now, in this uh, live, Kevin came up and he said that he couldn't join, but he's going to join in a live video. And I really want to know what he's going to say, because Kevin is a guy that he has a product, he's selling automatic CSS and he knows more uh, than me, of course, but he can understand some things better. He doesn't know everything, of course, he is not a part of SoFly, but I'm sure that he has more than me to say in this matter. And I would really like to uh, see his thoughts. And I would like now to go into some of those comments and maybe answer that. Of course, I'm not going again to defend Oxygen, but I would like you guys to keep it calm and see what's going on uh, really. So this is where he first joined. Let's go into here. I'm going to pause the video in order to play this. Ad. So here we had a question. How do you retain to, how do you plan to retain 30K Oxygen customers? Now, I know that Louis said that he doesn't need to retain uh, the Oxygen customers because they already paid. But I think that John uh, didn't really mean that. Didn't mean that. He just meant how is going to Oxygen, how is going Oxygen to keep uh, getting better because we need to uh, make Oxygen better in order to keep using that. But keep in mind that uh, Luis is not a part of Oxygen team right now. He has abandoned that, he has moved away and he put Elias in uh, the CEO and he's not really in Oxygen. Uh, then Luis said that Oxygen will stay the same and then we had Elijah that confirmed that, that Oxygen is going to get updates and everything else. And I think why shouldn't they keep updating the products it's not lo it's not logical to spend six months for getting better into the version 4 and then abandon the products uh, at all and uh, you know that you would come with another uh, builder Elijah knew that breakdance is going to come in some day he knew what was Lewis is going to do under the hood so uh, that I think is what John meant and not what uh, he got an answer from Lewis then we have, will Oxygen keep updating in the future? Yeah, it will keep updating. Of course, we don't know uh, for how much time and we're anxious to know that, but time will tell. How extendable will breakdowns be in the developer API? Hopefully it will be extendable because I think that Elementor most key feature is the open API and what uh, things could do that. And that's why we have so many extra third-party add-ons in order to use uh, Elementor and install another plugin in order to advance and create better compatibility, better elements. Then we have, please confirm you got an idea from the domain name, that's why it's called uh, Breakdance. Yeah, I think that he got a deal from that uh, domain and that's why he called it Breakdance. And if he got another domain, he would call it something different. Just a way to get away from one-time fees of oxygen, just be honest with it. No, I don't think that he's going to do that. I don't think that that was the plan, as I said before. Uh, of course, this is not, I'm not against you, Frank. I'm just saying my opinion against your thoughts. Someone else said that you have comment on why people should use breakdance over oxygen and vice versa, but why would someone use breakdance over Elementor? Well, Elementor, we know that it's bloated and it's not fast. So if we have another builder that it's faster, maybe the users that are going to choose Elementor will choose Breakdance instead. Of course, they have uh, third-party add-ons with Elementor, but maybe in the future we will also get third-party add-ons for Breakdance as well. Now, there are some, of course, questions about Breakdance, but I'm not going to uh, answer those. I don't know, of course, anything about Breakdance. I completely agree with Oxygen is for pros and Breakdance is for newbies, even though the pros is more that Oxygen is for coders or for people that know uh, more things about HTML, CSS and maybe JavaScript. And Breakdance will be for those that are not going to even uh, touch classes or something like that. Then we had an answer about the Breakdance domain that was over $40,000. It was a good deal. Yeah, I think it's investment for a tool. Do not compare Oxygen with Breakdance. It's from uh, the same company, but are two different things for separate users. People think that they should use the money from the one tool to the other. No, it's two different products. If they both succeed, we have a healthy company. If one of those uh, get better, Breakdance, 
Hopefully, they will still continue to use oxygen. Hopefully, we don't know what they're going to do. And they continue to support it, even though they're not going to get so much money as Breakdance if Breakdance is successful. But that uh, builder will help Sofly to become a healthy company. And this is, of course, the purpose of a company. Now, I read that they compared the plants with something like uh, ACF did, and they say that they had, of course, the LDD, and they did that to go into uh, annual price. Of course, we cannot compare it oxygen with ACF. ACF is a tool that can be used with many builders, and it's something that uh, many customers have and use. Oxygen is something uh, with a small audience. And of course, ACF has already been sold twice. It's not something that's a good example in order to give it uh, for a successful company. So let's see uh, some more questions. And uh, of course, I would like to see some questions that you have in the comments below. I will try to answer everything. Uh, please keep it calm, guys. And even if you have some other opinion and you disagree with me, tell me in the comments and I would like to discuss that. Now, Kevin here says that he said five times if Elementor does it well, we do. Now, this was uh, when Louis said that Elementor doesn't have uh, something like a repeater element. They don't have anything. Of course, they are going to release it. And he said that uh, Elementor doesn't have repeater element and they are successful, even they don't have it. So we're not going to create it. If Elementor does it, uh, we're going to do that as well. And I know that Kevin, uh, what Kevin says here, they, it seems like they're just following Elementor and they are going to copy that. And it's not something that you should do. Elementor is going to bring a tool eventually to create something. It's not going to be a repeater element, but it's going to use something to create uh, something like a repeater element. And I don't want, of course, breakdowns to go and completely uh, copy Elementor. Create a product that is simple and go and create templates because most people that are newbies or just starting or they don't want to code, they are going to go and grab uh, full pages and just replace the content. That's something that it's easy to do and many people do that. Of course, I don't agree with Thomas, uh, even though I can see why he's upset. I don't agree with his point of view. Also, I read somewhere that uh, he doesn't know his product because he doesn't know who Kevin is. How could he create something better if he doesn't know his audience but again he's not a member of oxygen team he's something that he created of course but then he moved away in order to create something different if you want to talk about oxygen and the audience and everything else talk to elijah and i am sure that elijah really knows who is kevin and since i mentioned kevin two or three times i'm going to put his uh, youtube channel in the description below it's a really great youtube channel please go ahead and uh, see it if you don't have already and he has already created an automatic CSS which is a framework um, plugin and he I would I would like to thank Kevin because everything he does is really amazing so uh, this is the end of the video please guys keep it calm we don't know the future of course we bought an L lifetime deal with no guarantee that it's going a tool is going to keep for 10 or 20 years but of course, that doesn't mean that we need to ditch that and go into another plugin. I think that Oxygen is going to still uh, get uh, updates and everything will work as normal. But I need to have something different, even though we're going to break backwards compatibility. I think that is the most critical part of Oxygen going into the future. So thanks for watching, guys. Please add your comments in the description below and I will reply to every one of those. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.